Hey, Sean, any thoughts on the recent review bombing trend, Velma and Last of Us, episode three, come to mind? All right, so this has kind of been a discussion over the last couple of years, and it seems like it's growing more and more common, and there's more and more discussion of review bombing. So it went down with Rings of Power. Um, anytime a show starts to touch on culture wars, the review bombing stuff comes into play. And there's, there's a batch of channels that they, they want to say, it's not review bombing, it's not review bombing. Like, people just actually hate this, and then you have, they claim that, you know, the main outlets are running cover for these shows, dismissing the criticism as just review bombing. <laughs> it Like, I look at all of it, and I just want people to be honest. Just have an honest read at it. And you can look at the distribution of reviews on these shows. You look at Rings of Power. <laughs> like this gigantic percentage of the reviews are tens, and a gigantic percentage are zeros, and very low percentage are all the normal things that people rate stuff. You look at the review breakdown, score breakdowns for Last of Us Episode 3, it's a bunch of tens, it's a bunch of zeros, and very low percentages for everything normal that people actually rate things. <laughs> so you, you have the mainstream outlets just trying to say, all of these negative people review bombing it, bringing down the score. But ignoring the fact that there are also people review bombing it with praise, giving it tens. The other side to it being like, the, the people like review bombing it. The people are giving their honest opinions and they don't like your show. They don't like your agenda and what you're pushing in there. So they're giving it a negative score. Like, come on. Come. Let's be fair. Let's be honest. Everyone in these conversations is smart enough to know these are not real scores. These are not honest people going to score them. And going, all right, you know, objectively, this is da da. It's a ten. It's a ten, ten, ten. Or let me let me think about the merits of this show. It's a zero. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. These aren't honest scores. These are people involved in culture wars. These are people involved in counteracting the other side. So they're mad about Rings of Power, and the change is made, and so they're trying to stick it to the show. I'm sure they don't like it. That's an honest opinion. Are they reviewing a bunch of other shows on this full spectrum of scores and then this is the one they happen to be like, it's a zero? No. <laughs> There's, the reason that these, these breakdowns look so insane is because people on each side of the culture war flood to IMDb to rate it based purely off whichever article they read, whichever people they follow to counteract the other side. It's not real stuff. That's why I don't take user scores seriously. They're, they're not real. You don't have to watch it. You don't have to prove that you watch it. And especially right now, it's culture wars. It's not people just giving normal, honest opinions based off of like, all right, I watched the show and I don't like it because they changed the material. I don't like it because there's some agenda in there. But if you're being fair, like there is some competence in the way there's production. Da, 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 da. So, you know, I, I don't really like it. So it's like a three. No, it's a zero. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. Or flip side, the tense. <laughs> Everything is the best show ever. Right. Sure it is. So it's happened with She-Hulk as well. The number of people calling this the best show ever and worst show ever, a disproportionate number of people doing that. And so, you know, like even like, you know, recently Velma, it's the like lowest rated or third lowest rated TV show on IMDb. It's not good. Everyone agrees it's not good. Both sides, the you, Velma's brought the internet together that we agreed that Velma's terrible. But why is Velma the lowest rated TV show of all time? Because it's a high-profile property. They took Scooby-Doo and did something that made a bunch of people mad, so they rushed over to IMDb to review bomb it. People hate-watched it. They watched it to hate it. 
They hated it, and then they went over and gave it a zero. People didn't watch it and hate scored it and gave it a zero. They're not honest, authentic reviews. Everybody knows that. It's just like, I wish that we could have like honest, like, all right, right. You can have serious issues with Rings of Power, and that's fair. There's a lot of discussion of the issues that people have with it. I got get what you're saying. A lot of these shows where you don't like the agenda, gotcha, I'm tracking with it. I, I, that's fair. I see where you're coming from. You can also say that a show is bad and acknowledge, like, this distribution of scores is clearly not natural. That's clearly not what that should look like. That is what a culture war looks like. And same with the mainstream press, like only wanting to like attack the side of it that's negative and not wanting to acknowledge that all the tens are also review bombing, just in the other direction. Just like act normal. Have reasonable conversations. Like let's stop acting dumb and step out of our bubbles, step out of our culture wars and call a spade a spade or whatever. Most of these clips are pulled from my weekly Patreon live stream. Join at any level and you can join the chat and ask all the questions you want. That's for as little as $2 per month. For $5 per month, you can get your name on my end card. For $25 per month, you can have a monthly video chat with me. Link is in the description for more details and keep talking movies and TV too much.